our next performer, you're going to love this person. He is a amazing magician, a magician and a facilitator of fascinating Jonas Cain. Check him up on Google right now. As a, he presents for some of the most discerning organizations and people in the world, like Best Western and the New England Patriots. He is open nationally for touring bands like Earth, Wind & Fire, which I love. September. Anyway, and Alicia Keys. And his work has even been featured on the ABC show, I know you know this one, Jimmy Kimmel Live. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to bring all this to you and all of his decades, three of them, of all of his entertainment and his experience to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please give another round of applause for Jonas Kane. Tiptoe through the two loves with me. Well, hello everyone. Jonas Kane here. There's any way of getting a cue? That would be awesome. It is absolutely a thrill to be here with Rock Our Disabilities, the group that takes the proverbial lemons from life and makes sweet, sweet lemonade. In fact, after watching all of the performers and all of the acts from tonight, I became inspired. I thought it would be fun if I could teach you folks how to do your own act. And the best part is all you need is a deck of cards and a giant size card. And we use a giant size card because this is kind of a big deal. And we also come to the interactive portion of the show. So I would like to invite uh, Jonathan or Will or whoever is the, are the powers that be to choose someone who's going to choose our card. Who's going to select a card for us this evening? Yes, it's, it's, it's me, the man in the purple suit. The man uh -oh. in the purple suit. Are yeah. you ready? Uh, well, well, would you like me to do it or would you like somebody in the audience to do it? If, if we could choose someone, that would be even better so that they know I, that we're not in on it. All right. We have Linus uh, in the audience. Linus, uh, if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, please. This is Silas, actually. Silas. Hello, Silas. Are you enjoying the show so far? Yes. That's my favorite answer and also the correct answer. Uh, so how do you spell your name? S-Y-L-U-S. Silas. Well, Silas, this is a very simple trick. Do you know any card tricks? Do you know any magic yourself? A lot, actually. You, well, this is perfect. You know what? You might even know how, how th this trick is done. This is the trick that can never fail. This trick works every single time. Silas, I'm just going to go through the cards very slowly. Whenever you'd like, you will say stop, and that will become your card, whenever you'd like. Stop. Right here, you don't wanna go one more, you wanna keep this one? Yes. All right, Silas, again, you could have chosen any card. You chose the three of clubs. And again, you could have stopped at any card at all, but you stopped at the three of clubs. Now, Silas, don't forget the three of clubs. That is your, in fact, you might want to put it in, in, in the chat box. Everyone on Facebook, you want to, you might, might want to put the three of clubs in the comments because take a look, this giant size car that's been here this whole time. Silas, would you be amazed if your card was on this card? Yes. That's the right answer. You're, you're doing very well tonight. Well, Silas, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn the card over. I'll show you the three of clubs. Everyone is going to go wild. Are you ready? Yep. All right, here it is. There it is. The three of clubs, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your card, Silas? No. I, I no, that's the three of clubs. There it is. No, that's all of the cards. Well, exactly. This is the card trick that never fails. Everyone can do this. In fact, if you don't have a giant size card, I'm going to tell you where to get one. You go to hashtag positivity dot com slash is this your card now if you go to that website there is a pdf where you can download a file so you can print this card on your own paper you can just cut it out to look like, like a card and you can do this trick at home silas thank you so much for your help let's hear give a nice big hand for silas yay so nice to meet you silas now that we know a, ma a magic trick that you can do at home, a trick that truly, truly never fails. I'm gonna now show you something 
that it took me 30 years to get right. It was 30 years of failing along the way just to get this right. And it's something that you've perhaps tried at, at home you, yourself. It's something that when I was a child, I was really frustrated by this thing. In fact, I spent the first 29 years of my life really trying to avoid this. I'm of course talking about the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Now, I, I'm sure uh, several of you perhaps have played with one of these. Maybe you might even know how to solve this, but it took me 30 years to be able to show you this. And that's where we get a big round of applause. <laughs> now, of course, we have a little bit of a problem here because as impressive as this is for me, and, and perhaps you're impressed too, however, you shouldn't be. And let me explain why. Who is the one who mixed this cube? Did one of you mix the cube? Or did this guy mix the cube? And if this guy mixed the cube, then I could just retrace my steps to be able to solve it relatively quickly. This is where we get to an even more interactive portion of the show. I'd like to invite Jonathan back and, and, and we're going to select uh, a few people and they're going to tell me how to mix this, this cube. Because if we think about it, there's one, two, three, four, five, six sides to this cube. We could turn uh, the left side once, twice, or three times. If we do it any more than that, what happens, it just goes back to order. But we can turn the sides, the front, the back. We can do the sides, the bottom, or the top. We can mix this several different ways. So Jonathan, do we have anyone else who can, can help us to decide how we mix this, this cube? Absolutely. Let's go with uh, Lorenzo Beltran. If you could go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Lorenzo, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes. Lorenzo, you're going to choose a, a, either the top, bottom, left, right, front, or back. Which side would you like to mix? I would say this side. So this side here? Yes. All right. Do you want me to turn it once, twice, or three times? Twice. One and two. All right. Now we're going to do the other side. How many times do you want me to turn that side? One, two, or three? Three. One, two, three. Now we're going to do the top. How many times do I turn the top one, Lorenzo? Two. One and two. Now we're going to do the front. How many times do we turn the front? Three. One, two, three. All right, Jonathan, we're going to get one more person to decide how we mix the remainder of the cube. Lorenzo, you did a fantastic job. Let's hear it for Lorenzo. Woo, yeah. Who will help us mix the rest of this cube? I think Let's I go with uh, Richard. Richard, uh, if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, please. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right, what Rich. To do. Uh, so, so Richard, Lorenzo helped us to mix up the cube. He he chose some sides. He told me how many times to to mix it. We haven't done the bottom and we haven't done the back. So we're going to start with the back. I can do it once, twice, or three times. How many times should I mix the back? Three times. One, two, three. And how many for the bottom? Two. One and two. Now you're gonna help me out with one final thing. I'm gonna close my eyes and just mix the cube at random. Whenever you say stop, I'll stop wherever I am. All right, so I'm gonna start now. My eyes are closed. You just, whenever you'd like, say stop and we will end the random mixing. Okay, stop. Right here, you're happy here? Uh, yes. So between Richard and between Lorenzo, we have really mixed this cube up well. Let's hear it for Richard and Lorenzo. Give him a nice big hand. Now we're going to time and see how long it takes me to solve this. So everyone at home, what we can do is you can get out your, your stopwatch on, on your phone, or if you have a second hand in your watch, you're gonna time and see how long it takes me to solve this cube. On the on the average day, it takes me about 90 seconds to solve the cube. That's on the average day. On a good day, it takes me about, oh, about 75 seconds. However, on a really good day, it takes me about a minute or less. 
think about that 60 seconds or less to solve this cube so as soon as i say go everyone start your watches and we'll see how long it takes me let me just investigate this a little bit and i think i'm ready to go and you may start with your watches Let's see, I think if we go there, we go here. I think I'm doing this a little slower than usual because you guys, can I tell you something? You folks really mix this cube up well. So I don't know. I think today just might be an average day, but you know what? That is very encouraging because the average day by definition is average. And if the average day is average and we are empowered to make the average day amazing, therefore I think I'm doing okay. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look. I have solved the cube. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know, I know it's amazing. I know it's amazing. But I would like to leave you <laughs> with a very uh, uh, important m message. It has taken me literally 30 years to be able to solve the Rubik's Cube. 30 years in order to, to solve this. But with anything that's big, you don't just start off by doing. You don't just start off. What's that, Lorenzo? Uh, um, it took you one minute and thirty-two seconds. Oh, thank you, Lorenzo. I was, I was just, I was just going to ask how long it took me. So it took me one minute and thirty-two seconds. Thank you very much, Lorenzo. So you know what? Today it's a good day. That's what that means. Today is a good day, and we have solved the cube. But again, we don't just start off by solving something big. We don't just start off. If you want to become a runner, you don't run a marathon. If you want to become a bicyclist, you don't start off by riding 3,000 miles across the country. Who would do that? That's ridiculous. You have to start small. So that's exactly what I did is I started small. This is a regulation uh, uh, style cube just in miniature size. So what I do was I figured out how to solve this cube first, and then I figured out how to solve the big cube. Now think about this. When most people solve the cube, they put all the yellows on one side or all the reds on one side, but that's how everyone does it. What I do is I decide on a different pattern, and this is the pattern that I decided upon today. If you look closely, you'll see that every side of the cube matches perfectly, not just on the sides, but of course also on the top and on the bottom, making for a much more interesting solution. One more big hand for Lorenzo and Richard. So if there's one thing that, that we would leave with is that is to remember that after 30 years, I was able to do this thing that was incredibly difficult. Whereas with the card trick, that's something that any of us can do. But remember, doing more than expected will always be how we're able to work together to do amazing things. Or as we would of course say, to take the proverbial lemons that life throws us and make lemonade. In fact, uh, who was it that chose the card over? It was, uh, it was Silas, right, Silas? Yes. Silas chose the, the, the card or, earlier. Now this, inside this lemon, we have something very special because lemons represent the things that we try to avoid, the things that are difficult, the things that are painful. But instead of running away from them, and we instead face them head on, we'll find there's something waiting for us. In this case, it's a lemony card. And what was your card? Do you remember what it was? The three of clubs. The three of clubs, that is exactly right, Silas. And here we have your three of clubs. It has been a joy to be here. Thank you so much. My name is Jonas Kane. <laughs>